So I'm in Zurich airport. I'm heading to Amsterdam, Netherlands, and it's like 6.30 in the morning right now. I haven't slept all night. I think the jet lag just kicked in. I'm not really sleepy right now. I'm really wide awake, but I'm just scared that I'll be knocked out the moment um, I'm in the Netherlands. So um, let's see, let's see what happens. Please hold on, the bus is departing. I pre-ordered the iAmsterdam card as it offers a good deal for multiple attractions. Check out the link in the description for more information. The train ticket from Schiphol Airport to Amsterdam City costs 4.5 euros with an additional 1 euro fee for printing out the physical ticket. This additional fee is common here. Welcome to Amsterdam, the bike friendliest place in the world. The locals caught me off guard when they spoke perfect English. I literally thought that they were Americans working in Amsterdam, but I was mistaken. I'm in Amsterdam now, yay! I'm still having my backpack and I'm gonna walk from the train station to my hostel. It's about 2.2 kilometers. I'm fine, my backpack isn't that heavy. It's about 8.7 kilos, so that's okay. From the train station, I really thought it kind of looked like Zurich with all the trams and the big buildings, but now that I've come more inside, it really does look like Amsterdam. Like It does have its uniqueness. So I, yeah, it's really nice to see the uniqueness and difference here that it's you know not like all of Europe. So yeah, I'm gonna head to my hostel now. While I was wandering about being lost in the narrow alleys, I stumbled upon the red light district. Obviously not much was going on as it was in broad daylight. I do confess that I went there at night just to check it out, but please do not take any pictures or videos of these workers. I saw one guy photographing or videoing the lady and she was very upset. The Chinatown in Amsterdam is the second largest in the Netherlands, with the biggest one being in Rotterdam. I also saw many LGBT rainbow flags across Amsterdam, probably because it was around the Pride Parade days. This is the Wertheim Park. It has a canal next to it where boats cruise on. When it comes to nightlife and clubbing, Rembrandtplein is one of the busiest squares in Amsterdam. The tram also stops here. Square, or simply Dam, is a town square in Amsterdam. This is also where the national monument, Madame Tussauds, and the town hall lie. The tram stops here as well. Did you know that the royal palace at the Dam Square was built on over 13,569 long wooden poles that were driven into the ground because Amsterdam's soil was so swampy? Did you also know that there are more than 881,000 bicycles in Amsterdam? That's four times more than the cars there. I also unintentionally entered the Church of St. Nicholas and it was a great decision. It was so calm and quiet inside and the architecture is just amazing. They have elaborate interior featuring many frescoes and stained glass windows. And of course the iconic I Amsterdam letters are now placed in front of the Adam Lookout. They used to be placed in front of Rijksmuseum but they have moved the locations. The Eiffel Museum is a contemporary waterside cultural center that has a nice spacious cafe in it and is home to a massive collection of Dutch and foreign movie posters. This gallery is free in some parts of the museum and requires entrance fees in other parts of the museum. They also have a few interactive phenakistoscope to play with. This is Holland is a 5 dimensional flight experience. I didn't go there but I'm putting the link of their website in the description. Amsterdam also offers free ferries from the central station to the Adam Lookout without having to buy a hop on and off boat ticket. My trip was spontaneous, so I didn't book Anne Frank's house in advance. The website is in the description. A 
Across the canal to the north of Anne Frank's house is the Cheese Museum, where you can try the cheese and visit the museum free of charge. Did you know that Rijksmuseum is the only museum in the world that has a road in it where cyclists can cycle through? See for yourself! Oh yeah, and there are also many musicians playing music and singers singing opera. Between the Rijksmuseum and Van Gogh Museum is a small market with all sorts of bites like ice cream, panini, hot dogs and so on to satisfy your hunger. When using the tram, don't forget to check in and check out by tapping your card to the machine. Of course, I also have to check out the Park, which is an urban park open all year, has 10 million visitors a year, is bike friendly, and is simply huge. The park also has an open air theater, a playground, and several food service facilities. If you're a bird lover, I guess this is a great place for you to see different kinds of birds. I decided to enter one of the malls here. This one is Magna Plaza. It's not that big and it's rather quiet. But I'm pretty sure that Amsterdam has better malls to offer, which I didn't go to. Here and most of Europe, they charge you to use the bathroom inside a shopping mall. This is very different compared to where I come from. I also passed by the floating flower market where they sell tulips and other types of flowers. You can buy them in bouquet, single flower or bulbs. I then headed to the Albert Kuyp market which offers clothes, local food and other knickknacks. And this is where I tried a few of the Dutch local food such as the raw herring sandwich, which I loved by the way, and the mini Dutch pancakes called poffertjes, which was also soft and delicious. Next up is the Nemo Science Museum, which is the Netherlands' biggest science center with five floors. Unfortunately, I didn't have the time to explore it, but I did get to check out their terrace, which was free. <laughs> the link to their website is in the description. I witnessed a very heartwarming event where the police and firefighters brought disabled children to their vehicles for them to learn and have fun. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and stay tuned for more! Thank you!